Does the gentleman from North Carolina seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move that the House suspend the rules and pass H.R. 3931 to designate the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 620 Central Avenue, Suite A in Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas, as the Chief Petty Officer, Adam Brown, United States Post Office. The clerk will report the title of the bill. H.R. 3931, a bill to designate the facility of the United States Postal Service located at 620 Central Avenue, Suite 1A, and Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas, as the Chief Petty Officer, Adam Brown, United States Post Office. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Walker, and the gentlewoman from Michigan, Mrs. Lawrence, each will control 20 minutes. The chair now recognizes the gentleman from North Carolina. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield myself such time as I may consume. The gentleman is recognized for such time. I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend the remarks and include extraneous material on the bill under consideration. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 3931, introduced by Congressman Bruce Westerman of Arkansas. H.R. 3931 designates the post office located at 620 Central Avenue, Suite 1A in Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas, as the Chief Petty Officer Adam Brown, United States Post Office. Chief Petty Officer Adam Brown was a true American hero and someone who I hope will serve as an inspiration to many. Adam went from drug addiction, theft, and prison time to a life devoted to faith, family, and country. A decorated Navy SEAL, Adam served multiple tours of duty losing an eye and multiple fingers, but, but returning to duty nonetheless. One tour in Afghanistan was not just to fight for his country. He went to give away 500 pairs of shoes to Afghan children that he had collected as a personal project. Adam's legacy should live on in our hearts and minds, as well as in physical remembrance. I urge members to support this bill and name a post office after this hero, Chief Petty Officer Adam Brown. And I reserve the balance of my time. The uh, gentleman reserves the balance of his time. The gentlewoman from Michigan is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentlelady is recognized for such time. Mr. Speaker, I join my colleagues in consideration of H.R. 3931, a bill designate to designate the facility of the United States Postal Service located in Hot Springs National Park, Arkansas, as Chief Petty Officer Adam Brown. Adam Brown never did anything halfway. He always was ready to push aside his own needs to help others. Adams joined the Navy in 1998 and was a long, it was not long before he became a Navy SEAL, eventually serving as a member of the elite SEAL Team Six and as a special operations task force deployed to Afghanistan. Again, we have the opportunity here in Congress to recognize sometimes the quiet but amazing uh, contributions of our military. And this individual today we bring forward to be named. And I, I Mr. Speaker, feel we should pass this bill to remember the tenacity of Chief Petty Officer Brown and to honor his valid military service. The uh, gentlelady reserves the balance of her time. The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I would like to yield three minutes to the fine gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Bruce Westerman. The uh, gentleman from Arkansas is recognized for three minutes. Mr. Speaker, Jesus said that greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. This poignant verse is inscribed on the headstone of Arkansas, an American hero, and Hot Springs native, Chief Petty Officer Adam Brown. Adam's story is a story of loyalty and dedication to the American way of life, and an inspiring testament to overcoming adversity through faith. True to the Navy SEAL creed, Adam's strength and leadership abilities were forged by adversity. Although Adam's eagerness for risk led to trouble in his youth, his determination to do the right thing, fueled by love for his family, faith, and country, led him to become a member of the elite SEAL Team 6. On March 17, 2010, while conducting a raid on an enemy stronghold in Komar Province, Afghanistan, Chief Petty Officer Adam Brown selfishly placed himself into the enemy's line of fire to protect his brothers in arms. 
though his brave actions relieved fire on his teammates and ultimately led to the capture of the stronghold, Adam was struck and killed by enemy fire. Many members of this body, as well as countless others, have read Adam's inspiring life story in the best-selling book, Fearless. Mr. Speaker, on this week before Memorial Day, it is my hope that this piece of legislation will not only serve to honor Chief Petty Officer Brown, but it will also honor all of the men and women from Arkansas's 4th Congressional District who have laid down their lives in the defense of the United States of America and freedom. As we remember the fallen, let us also remember those that gave mentally, physically, and emotionally. People like Lieutenant Colonel Hugh Mills, Jr., who survived his helicopter being shot down 16 times and was awarded three silver stars for his heroic actions in Vietnam. I thank Chairman Chaffetz and Ranking Member Cummings and the Oversight and Government Reform Committee for their attention to this piece of legislation, and I yield back. The uh, gentleman yields back. The uh, gentlewoman from Michigan is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I urge the passage of H.R. 3953, and I reserve back the balance of my time. Thank you. The uh, gentlewoman yields back the balance of her time. The gentleman from North Carolina is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I urge adoption of the bill, and I yield back the balance of my time. All time having now expired on this bill, the question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass the bill, H.R. 3931? Those in favor will say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.